Hey everyone, just wanted to give you a quick rundown on how I automate my guitar amp sim in FL Studio. My goal for this example is to simply automate the amp sim gain level. I want to give this intro a light gain overdrive. Once my drums and bass guitar kick in, I'll boost the amp gain to broaden the depth. First, I need to head over to the mixer track housing my amp sim plugin. I have two instances of this plugin applied on hard pan left and right guitar tracks. I'll apply my automation to the guitar left track first, and then link the automation to the other guitar track once finished. With the left guitar amp sim pulled up, I'll first nudge the amp gain dial in either direction. From here, I want to click the plugin options at the top left corner and select browse parameters. You can see within the browser panel, the amp sim gain parameter is selected. Now I can right click and select create automation clip. The new automation clip is added to my project's playlist. From here, I can add points within the automation clip timeline, which correspond to the intro and subsequent song opening. With my points added, I can visibly raise and lower the amp gain effect. Now that my left rhythm guitar plugin is set, I just need to link the guitar right plugin to bring this effect into parity. To do this, I simply pull up my right rhythm guitar amp sim and then double click the newly created automation clip. I then click the add target link plus button and within the right rhythm guitar amp sim, nudge the gain dial. Making sure not to affect any other setting, click the add target link plus button once more to complete the link. You can now see both links are applied and controlled by the automation clip. Let's see the automation in action. So there you go. That is automating your guitar amp sim in FL Studio. And this was only barely scratching the surface. Really, the sky is the limit. So many parameters, so much you can do. It can get as crazy, bizarre, and wild as you want. If you enjoyed this introductory video and would like to hear more on producing within FL Studio, feel free to like, subscribe, and drop any questions you have in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you. Take care.